Cornhole Nation, it is going to be an exciting summer for the American Cornhole League. We're going to get you updated on some of the big things that are going to be happening this year, as well as welcome ACL Pro, the leader of the Dog Pound, Josh Lunsford. He's going to talk about his big win with partner Jimmy McGuffin at the 2019 ACL Bag Brawl. This is the ACL Throwdown. Yes, like I said, I got the leader of the dog pound, Mr. Josh Lunsford, calling into the show this week. He's going to chat about his big win with Jimmy McGuffin at the 2019 ACL Bag Brawl. But first, like I said, it is going to be such an exciting summer for the ACL. I just want to hype up some things that are coming up here and give you guys a sneak peek of what the summer is really going to look like. Of course, first, this weekend, we have the 2019, the second annual Jimmy Graham Charity Cornhole Challenge. So $3,000 in Adidas merchandise going to go to the first place team in the top level division. You're going to get a chance to give back to the community, a chance to meet Jimmy Graham, a chance to play cornhole, drink some beer, and have a great time. That's going to be at Badger State Brewing Company. For those of you in Wisconsin or in the Great Lakes Conference in general, go to our Facebook page and get signed up. Get out there this Sunday, June 2nd, to be able to compete in this Jimmy Graham Charity Cornhole Challenge. So that's a really great event we did last year. We're going to be doing it this year. It'll stream on the ACL Digital Network. So make sure you get involved with that and get signed up. The next thing that we're super excited for is the Devour Man of the Year competition. 32 male ACL pros, the top ranked in the country, are going to square off in a single elimination tournament. That single elimination tournament is going to span over the course of both the fourth national of the season, the ACL final chase, as well as the ACL championships. The winner of this 32-man single elimination tournament is going to win $10,000 as well as free Devour frozen pizza for a year. Man, what a... What a deal that is. So, if you want to get involved with that, you can go to iplayacl.com slash devour and vote for who you think will win that Man of the Year Challenge. If you guess correctly, you're entered into a drawing to possibly win free Devour Frozen Pizza yourself as a fan. So, just by voting, you're getting a chance to get in on some of that pizza action as well. The next event that I really want to highlight is our ACL All Forces Championships. I mentioned this previously. We've had some posts about it. we got more details coming out for you guys. But essentially, eight divisions of military and public safety personnel from across the country are going to compete for $25,000 in cash prizes in a double or sorry in a single elimination tournament but it's going to be three different rounds. So, if you're in the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard, Border Patrol, Police or are a EMT slash fire slash first responder, active duty retired or veteran of any of those divisions you are eligible to compete in these championships between now and the ACL championships in August August 6th through 11th you can qualify using a qualifier tournament or by a direct bid into the all forces championships we only have 32 spots available for each division each spot is a doubles team. So we have 32 doubles team spots available for each of these eight divisions. You can check out iplayacl.com for more information on this All Forces tournament. You can contact us to either buy a direct entry into one of those 32 spots or you can request to have a qualifier run in your area qualifier in your area if you win that qualifier tournament you get an automatic bid into that 32 spot of your division okay once we get to the ACL championships on August 8th each of the eight divisions will have an intra team tournament meaning all those 32 teams in each division are going to play against one another to crown a champion in each of the eight divisions 
And those champion winner, those division winners, each of those winners, all eight of them, are then going to compete in a single elimination tournament for that $25,000 cash prize. Okay, those eight players will also compete on ESPN3, single elimination, 15-round format. It is going to be a blast. So, like I said, that's a lot of info. It's really quick, but I just want to get that info out there. But then we're going to release more information on our website, so stay tuned for that as well. And then finally, the last event I want to get you guys hyped up for is the ACL Charity Day. And this is something that we are incredibly excited for. We're going to be partnering with local and national charities to battle cancer, to provide funding for cancer research. On July 21st, 2019, we're going to ask all of our directors across the country to run a charity tournament. Now, all of you I know can't always put it right on July 21st, so it's okay to run it a few days or even a couple weeks beforehand, but essentially what we want is as many as we can our directors running charity tournaments on that day. All of the money that you raise for that charity tournament will be donated all into one lump sum that we're going to use to donate to cancer research. So we have some big announcements coming on that, but that is the super exciting thing that we're excited to unveil is the ACL Charity Day. We're also going to have opportunities for people, maybe you're not an ACL director, but you just want to give back. We're going to be releasing more details about how you can do that as well. You do not have to be an ACL director to participate in this specific event. So it's a lot of exciting things coming here in the ACL. It's going to be a jam-packed summer leading up to our ACL championships, and we can't wait for all of you to be a part of it. That's enough from me for today. I'm going to get to my conversation with Josh Lunsford. He's going to talk about his recent success at the 2019 ACL Bag Brawl as well. Talk about his relationship with his partner, Jimmy McGuffin. Let's talk with Josh. ACL pro and captain leader of the dog pound, Mr. Josh Lunsford on the show this week. Coming off of his incredible performance with partner Jimmy McGuffin at the 2019 ACL Bag Brawl. And I guess jump right into it, Josh. What is it like, the leader of the dog pound, when when the W's are coming, when the dogs are barking? What it, What's it like to be a winner of a national, and what's kind of been life been like afterwards? I've heard you're kind of becoming a local celebrity here. Oh, yeah, Trey. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I've had two different news stations want to do stories on me and Jimmy. And Jimmy in general, I mean, I, so in airmails, man, I just I just sit back and laugh and watch everybody go in the hole. He is incredible. So, so look, i got to ask you, so he wasn't throwing only airmails all day. So what was kind of the transition time? When did you find out that you were going to be playing a partner that was done sliding for the day? So Jimmy come up to me right before the ESPN broadcast. Um, you know, in our area, we have high humidity. Uh, so when we play outside, the boards get sticky. And Jimmy is not a sticky board player. So when uh, he come up to me before the first game and he said, hey, man, I'm just going to throw for the hole. And I said, well, you always got the green light with me. Go ahead. I don't know why you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, like I said, you, you were loving that dog pound. And I got to say, even though you broke curfew by an hour, I think it uh, I think it turned out well. I think Jimmy might have left you off the hook there. Um, but a lot of people kind of forgot about how well you played. I had a, I had a good uh, chance to go back and watch. And so everybody saw Jimmy throw airmails. How do you think you played um, in, in that, especially in that finals game playing against a guy like like Scott Lane? You know, my, my main focus was just, just slide them in. I mean, that's what I got to do. Throw them back to Jimmy and let him do his thing. <laughs> and my dogs were barking through the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were a barking. It, enter- it was entertaining to watch. So, you know, you and Jimmy have known each other a long time. So when, when did you guys start playing? How did you guys get teamed up? Well, how we got teamed up was uh, Jimmy's normal partner was Derek King um, before me and uh, – Derek wasn't 21 and wasn't able to play in the 2016 first season for the for ACL, the Cobb. So me and Jimmy hooked up, and we've known each other a long time. We've been going to the lake and here and there and traveling together. So we just finally hooked up and said, 
let's play. So, and we did, and we finished second in the in the first Cobbs, and we kept it going from there. And and you kind of, I mean, I got to see just the way it looks. I mean, he almost kind of looks like a, a father slash grandfather figure, kind of on the board. So I, I see him kind of. Sometimes you've got to put a little reins on you. You've got to put a little leash on you. He'll pull you back a little bit, and then he'll let you go. <laughs> and so that dynamic on and off the court, it really sounds like you guys have a lot of chemistry. Would you say that's the case as well? We do. He he knows what I'm going to do. I know what he's going to do, and I know what he expects, and, and I know how much he expects me to drink and not to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? So you guys have qualified for this ACL Pro Invitational. So – what do you guys think? What's going to be the goal here for this pro invitational, and and what's it going to take for MacGuffin and for Lunsford to really emerge as the winners at the end of it? Well, we we just have to focus on winning. Take one game at a time, like we did in uh, in Phoenix, and, and keep it rolling. We our goal is to win the pro invitational. Our goal is to win the pro doubles um, in uh, Connecticut. Yeah, and that that bring that you know, that'd be a clean sweep right there. Obviously some cash in your pocket there and then we look toward these acl championships and and i gotta say you know i think i know the answer here but is there a limit to what you think you and jimmy can accomplish is, is there a chance that jimmy and, and uh jimmy and josh emerge as champions coming out of those acl championships in august that is our goal to keep on going and reloading our dog pound and keep them a barking <laughs> <laughs> keep them a barking so I got to say, is the dog pound traveling with you to Connecticut and to uh, Philadelphia as well? Are they? Are they? Uh, you got the kennels in line for them to come with we, you? It, it, we we put a few back in the kennel, but we've uh, we have several more coming. <laughs> <laughs> you you've locked and loaded, bringing the dog pound with you, Josh. Uh, I appreciate it. Congratulations on your big win, and of course, good luck for the rest of the season. Especially when we make our way through the end of it here with uh, partner Jimmy McGuffin. All right, thank you, Trey, and I want to say thanks to all the ACL for making this happen. No, uh, we 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 appreciate you, Josh. You keep bringing the energy. All right, thanks, Trey. Man, Josh Lunsford, if you guys know him well, you know he is always a ball of energy, a ball of fun. He's he's a great guy and always an entertainment to talk to. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Mr. Lunsford. Like I said, you can go to the ACL website to check out any of the events that I talked about today. The one I want to feature again is that iplayacl.com slash devour. The devour man of the year standings are live. Remember, you can go to that site to vote who you think will win the devour man of the year tournament and of course it by voting if you pick the correct winner you're gonna walk away with free devour frozen pizza for me for the for a year if you're the lucky fan that is chosen among the winners so definitely some incentive to go and vote there that is all the time that i got this week for the american cornhole league this is trey Ryder. we'll see you guys next week